So when I start out with a new client, most of them have already tried Facebook ads, but they're not taking full advantage of all the tools Facebook has to offer. One of the key tools are Pixel. So I want to describe the difference between a couple pixels that Facebook utilizes. So the first one, just tools, audiences. So here we go, we already have one created, but this is just the drop down, custom audience, website traffic. That's the most common one most people overlook because we want to retarget that traffic. So to initially capture that traffic, we need to create this pixel. So if I click this, we name it, and I already have it here. So let's take a look at it. So here's the name of that pixel, Course Envy Traffic Pixel. So this audience traffic pixel is a must have. This is your first one you need to install on your website. So simply to add this to your website and start capturing that traffic, we click view pixel code. So this is the code they're talking about right here. So we copy that and then just go to your website, your home page or whatever your editor is for your website. Ours happens to be WordPress, which is fairly easy back end. You go appearance, editor, and then find your header. So I've found my header and all you do is paste that code between your opening head tag and closing head tag. So what I like to do is put it right before the closing tag. So I put a space or I put an enter here and then I pasted it in. This is the same code we found in our view pixel code. So copy this and then we paste it before the closing head tag. So now we've created our first pixel and this is the most important because what are we doing we're capturing all the traffic that goes to our website then in an ad we can target this pixel we can target this audience so the other type of pixel people get confused with is conversion tracking so conversion tracking pixels pretty similar create pixel so with the audience pixel think of it you're capturing every person that comes to your website this is great for retargeting because you're capturing an audience of people who've been to your website but maybe didn't purchase at that time or maybe didn't sign up for your form at that time. What the conversion pixel does is track that metric of whatever you're trying to capture, right? Checkouts if you're e-commerce, registrations if you're capturing an email, same here, leads if you're capturing for a newsletter. Maybe people are just adding to their cart but they're abandoning. So what's the difference with this pixel? Let me show you one that I've already created. At Course Envy, we offer a consulting package where we have one-on-one -on -one consulting for you to create your first Facebook ad. So what we want to do, view code. So it looks very similar to that audience pixel, right? So same thing, we copy this, but we don't put this on the home page. Put this on the direct page between the head, between the head tags of what you want to track. What action do you want to track? So for this one, after someone has signed up for consulting, it redirects to a special domain, courseenvy.com slash Facebook. So therefore, when someone gets to that domain, courseenvy.com slash Facebook, it fires that we've had a conversion, that we've had a tracked pixel. So as you can see, I just created this pixel, so we haven't had activity yet. But this would just be a little line chart showing how many pixel fires we've had for that day. So you paste this code only into the header of that direct page that you're trying to track. Now for the audience pixel, that's on the home page. We're tracking all traffic. We can make a custom audience pixel for each separate page, but I like to do it just for the main home page so I can retarget everyone who has traveled to that domain. So let's look at an example ad here. So send people to my website. So for this, I'll add my conversion pixel. Scroll down, continue. Now this is where we can input that custom audience. Say I only want to target people that have visited my site. We just started this a little bit ago. So this is a fairly new pixel, right? Not many people are in that audience. So it's going to be very niche, potential reach fewer than 1,000. So this is why I say set up that audience pixel right away because you're collecting traffic every day for up to 90 days. So you can collect a lot of people and constantly remarket to them. You all know what retargeting is. When you go to a website and then you leave that website, 
but later on in the banners on other websites you see ads for that site you left that's retargeting they know you were on their site but you left so let's take advantage of that let's use custom audience pixel